Oh, what's going on guys and welcome back to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel my name is Joshua Daniel George and as you can see a bit of a change of a location this time we are in Valencia so as always we'll do a day in the life video of what we got up to how I'm able to balance running an agency with also sort of traveling and living life on my own terms so as you can probably tell from the hair the face the eyes squinting I have just woken up um, it's about 8 a.m. right now so I did have a lie-in and uh, what we're basically gonna do today <coughs> is work for a few hours on the laptop I want to get a workout in as well this hotel that we're in um, I'm currently on like the rooftop of our um, hotel room uh, the hotel that we're in has got a gym so I want to check that out as well and in Valencia there's actually also basic fit which is like the chain that I go to in the Netherlands so I want to see if during this week we can also make the switch to one of their gyms because basically if you've got a subscription you can go to every single gym um, within Europe of that chain basically so um, that is that no meetings planned as of yet at least not that I know of I haven't checked the calendar just yet um, I'm gonna get a deep work block in at the very least and then tonight I am a guest speaker on Ryan Wegner's coaching program to talk about Facebook ads so I'll probably document all of that but for now a cup of coffee and a quick deep work block okay guys so that is well, it's 10.38 right now, so it's a few hours later. I had a good deep work block. Um, the cleaners are actually in the next room, which means that we will need to vacate the room for um, about half an hour or so. So we'll probably get a workout in now and then come back, finish off the deep work block. Um, got some stuff that I do want to finish off before we sort of carry on with the rest of the day. And it's already, you know, we're already off to a good start today because of this. So I need to hold it up because the client actually messaged as well but new clients um a thousand a month and we have a percentage of uh, the ROAS so basically we have a flat fee every single month where you know we basically just charge them at the start of the month before we start working together and then at the end of the month uh, we look at their return on ad spend and their page conversion value we take off uh, their cost of goods delivered and then from that we take 20% so all in all happy with that client uh, hopefully we can do some damage for them and uh, it's funny actually because that's basically just paid for this this trip you know the hotel and uh, the flights so break even after day one which is uh, quite ironic but yeah good stuff um, quick workout and then I'll continue with the work lock <laughs> pre workout Work up done, back to work. Okay, guys, back in the hotel room now. Um, as they've already cleaned, I might as well give you guys a quick room tour. It's okay, not too shabby. Um, nice little working area. Single beds, unfortunately. Um, I'll get into that in just a second. And then we've got a decent little balcony on the rooftop with a view of Valencia. So, in terms of the twin rooms, one little trick that, or trick, like just thing that I always do is when I make a reservation for hotels or when I go through booking.com and stuff like that, I always put in a manual request. And what I say is that I have a severe case of asthma, which is actually true. I do actually have asthma. Um, and I basically say, can we have a room with a balcony or a window that can open? Usually, if you put in a request like that, um, they will give you either an upgrade or like I said, they'll just make sure that you have a room with a balcony Which usually has a view as well Unfortunately this time around um, We basically got you know like the, the queen size room, etc And then we put in the request to say, you know, we need a balcony because I've got asthma I need to have fresh air So they basically give us a room with a balcony Which was the only room left with a balcony on the rooftop um, but it's got twin beds. So when we went downstairs to complain and say, listen, you know, we've got twin beds when we asked for a queen bed, they said, well, yeah, we, you can get a queen bed or you could have gotten a queen bed, I should say, but you won't have a balcony. So, you know, we take your health very serious. Um, that's why we've made the decision to give you the balcony. 
um, but you know, unfortunately, we don't have any more queen queen bedrooms available. So I sort of cut off my nose there to spite my face. Um, but to be fair, it is actually quite comfy. We said, you know, if there's a room available with both a balcony and, um, a, you know, a queen size bed, let us know. They said, yeah, that's fine. But to be fair, I'm, I'm all right here. Um, you know, I filtered by strong Wi-Fi, office space, balcony. So, you know, sort of three out of four um, of the sort of elements that I usually filter by. So uh, I'm happy with that. But yeah, that's just a quick life hack for you guys. If you ever go for a hotel, always put in a personal request, either hygiene related or like I said, if you've got some kind of asthma or anything like that, just leverage it, use it to your benefit. You might as well. And uh, more often than not, you will get either an upgrade or just a decent view. Anyway, that's enough rambling on. Um, shower or work block first. I'll probably go for the shower, work block, and then I actually want to do some sightseeing. Going on guys so that is most of the work done for today like i said later on today we have got that um, guest speaker slash coaching call in ryan wegner's group and um, which i'll try and document as well still need to find a good place as well because the internet is not the best to be fair um and yeah other than that just sightseeing chilling and uh seeing what valencia has got to offer um, and the great thing is also just to touch on that last client that signed um, as I showed you guys on the screenshot the great thing about that is that was a complete like passive client so um, in terms of outreach we have Facebook ads running we've got um, obviously the hybrid outreach system which is um, primarily email marketing as well and then we've also got appointment setters so the three methods of outreach from there once a call is booked um, Elliot who basically manages all of the sales and everything on the front end he will take the call and close the deal if he thinks it's a right fit for our agency so from from that you know that whole process is without me as part of it um, so the only ever time I sort of step into play is if I want to actually attend the call or once the client signs and onboarded which of course is all automated as well with our onboarding process once that is all done only then do I come into play and do I actually set up the ads because I'm primarily on the back end I only run the ads only do the fulfillment for the clients whereas the whole front end is completely automated and outsourced so not the most um, informative videos you know this obviously because it's a, it's a vlog it's more entertainment based but if there's anything you guys can take away from this video then um, it will definitely be to look at your outreach to look at your you know your outbound prospect and etc and see if there's a way to automate it outsource it or just you know delegate it to like i said an appointment center or something like that and you'll notice that your agency will be much more streamlined your pipeline will be fuller the calendar will be more filled and so on and so forth so yeah that is my rant for now i'm gonna catch the metro and then um, like i said see what valencia has to offer Hopefully, it's a lot of guys, back at the hotel again, and there is a little spot there with the two lounge chairs where I'll probably do another hour's work on the laptop just before uh, the coaching call in Ryan Witness Group. Moving places again, hoping to find the quiet spot in the lounge. How's everyone getting on? Not bad, you? Not bad, not bad. Currently uh, away, I'm actually in Valencia, just hoping the internet's strong enough to, to hold this Zoom meeting. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Just click on that. Yeah, paste it and let's see. 
And what that means it should do is that will fire every single time someone lands on the What's going on guys, so it's a day later now, uh, forgot to finish off this video last night um, and yeah this is probably where I'm going to wrap up the vlog, wrap up the day in the life and as you can see guys you know obviously you know we did a few little work bits here and there primarily because we signed a client and obviously I had that guest speaker coaching call uh, in Ryan Wegner's group but other than that it wasn't actually as intense as you might expect from an agency of our size with the amount of clients that we've got etc and that is mainly because of the processes that we've put into place the things that we've automated we've delegated etc um, so if there's anything you can take away from this video um, like i already said you know on my previous rant make sure that you're basically your pipeline is full your outreach is automated or outsourced and just look at your agency on the whole and make sure that you put processes in place make sure that you streamline as much as possible and you'll notice that your agency will be able to grow much further anyway i'm gonna wrap up this video here thank you so much for watching like share comment subscribe and i'll see you all in the next video